Hey families, I'm Katie and I am so happy to have church with you today. Now, think of a toy that you like that you never, ever, ever want to get broken. Now, once you think of it, tell me what it is. Just shout it out. Oh, you and your families have a lot of cool toys. Do you want to know what my favorite toy is? It's my stuffed llama. I just, I love it so much. It's just so itty bitty cutie cute and just. Hmm. Sorry about that. Let's see what we're learning today for church. Our point is every day I am who Jesus says I am. Now say it with me. Come on. Every day I am who Jesus says I am. Great. Now it's time for our everyday song that talks about that. Just stand up so you can sing and dance along with me. My name is Brittany and we're so excited you are joining us today. We're going to be looking at the difference between good people and bad people. So a lot of times we look down on people because we would consider them a bad person. But it's important to remember how Jesus sees those people and how He sees us. So each and every one of us is either currently or was at some point lost and we all needed someone to save us and Jesus wants to save you. So whether you would consider yourself a good person or a bad person, Jesus made a way for you to be a part of his family and you can be saved. And today we're saying this, every day I am who Jesus says I am. We're going to start things off by singing a song together. So go ahead, stand up and sing this out with us as loud as you can.
got a brand new sound So get everybody talking Yeah Couldn't beat him, nothing could hold him down. Our God conquered the grave, so come on now, make it loud. Everybody shout it out, Jesus is alive right now. Sing it out, sing it out, sing it out. Jesus is alive right now. Whoa, sing it out, sing it out, sing it out. Jesus is alive right now.
You guys sounded awesome. Thank you for singing with us. And now we're going to take some time to watch a Bible story together. Today's Bible story is about a time when Jesus was sharing a meal with a guy named Simon when something crazy happened. So let's take a look. Stories of the Bible, Jesus and the Sinful Woman. This is Jesus, hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like calming storms and even raised people from the dead. There were a group of Jewish leaders called the Pharisees who heard Jesus speak often. One of the Pharisees, named Simon, asked Jesus to have dinner with him. Come on over. Oh, okay. Sounds good. So Jesus went over to his house and a certain sinful woman heard that he was eating there. She went to the house and brought a jar filled with expensive perfume. She kneeled at Jesus' feet and cried. Her tears fell on his feet and she wiped them with her hair. She kissed his feet and put the perfume on them. Simon saw this and said to himself, Yeah, if this man really were a prophet, he'd know what kind of woman is touching him. She's a sinner. Blah. Then Jesus said, Simon, I have something to say to you. Ah, uh, okay. And he told him this story. A man loaned money to two people, 500 pieces of silver to one, Thank you. and 50 pieces to the other. Yeah, thanks. Oh, hello again. But neither of them could repay him. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. So he kindly forgave them both. Eh, that's okay. Canceling their debts. Who do you suppose loved him more after that? Simon said that the one who owed him more loved him more. Jesus said, Yep. That's right. Then he turned to the woman and said to Simon, Look at this woman kneeling here. When I entered your home, you didn't offer me water or wash the dust off my feet, but she has washed them with her tears and wiped them with her hair. I tell you, her sins, and there are many, have been forgiven, so she has shown me much love. But a person who is forgiven little shows only little love. Then Jesus said to the woman, Your sins are forgiven. The men at the table said among themselves, Who is this man? that he goes around forgiving sins. And Jesus said to the woman, your faith has saved you. Go in peace. In our story today, Simon looked down on the woman because in his mind, she was a bad person and he was a good person. We often put people in the boxes of good or bad, but when Jesus looks at us, he doesn't just see a good person or a bad person. And so how does he see us? Our good friend, Pastor Cameron, is going to talk to us about that now. So let's take a look. Um, hey, Cameron. Watson? Yeah, what's up, man? Hey, Cameron. Hey, um, where are you? Are you here? Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, good. Hey, oh. um, um, quick question for you. Are you busy, buddy? Yes. Okay, good. Didn't think so. Um, so listen, got a bit of some bad news to let you know. Um, remember that Rubik's Cube that you let me borrow? Yeah, it was like 10 minutes ago. Yeah. Um, so, it's kind of this now. Hmm. Like, uh, it's broke. You broke it? Yes, I, uh, I broke how? it. I completely destroyed it. I'm sorry. I don't understand how you broke hey, it. Hey, hey, shh, shh. Listen, buddy, listen. It's okay. You can cry. You can just let it uh, out here. I'll cry with you. We'll yeah, cry about the broken Rubik's Cube together. It's okay. One, two, I, three. I, yeah! No, no, Watson, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to do that. You're not going to cry? Yeah, there's no I'm reason. I'm just saying, if you want to cry, just let it out. Still no. 
I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna cry. No problem. Suit yourself. Yep. All right. All right, P. Rubik's cube will miss you, bud. Watson, it's just a Rubik's cube, and I know you didn't mean to break it, so it's okay. I forgive you. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, thank goodness. I was really concerned about what you were gonna say. Cameron. Oh, hey, Trunks. Oh, uh, are you busy? No, he's not busy. What's up, bud? I am. Though. I mean, I'm not in a hurry to tell you anyway. I mean, I can come back later. No, it's a great time. Nothing happening here. What's up, uh, bud? Yeah, what's up? Uh, okay, well, remember that PS4 you let me borrow? Yeah, I literally let you borrow it at the same time I let him borrow that Rubik's Cube, like yep. 10 minutes ago. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Uh, well, I kind of broke it. <gasps> what on earth was happening in the last 10 minutes? Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to the Watson Show. Uh, today we're doing the Rubik's Cube stress test. Got the Rubik's Cube right here. Gonna see how much pressure it takes to destroy it. Here we go. Oh man, that was crazy. Look at how much broken it is. Oh man, wild. I'm so glad it's not mine. Well, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned. My buddy Trunks is coming in next and he's breaking the PS4. It's gonna be wild. Be sure to like and subscribe, fam. Peace! A boom boom, chicka chicka boom boom, Watson, Watson show on YouTube. Oh. What? You broke his PS4? Yeah. Oh my goodness, Trunks! You, I can't believe it! Cameron, I cannot wait to see how you're gonna punish Trunks here oh. for his terrible, terrible deed. What are you gonna do? What's his punishment? Should we punch him? No, no, no. no, no Let's no. kick him. No, no, wait, no, no. We can't be that. We can't be, like, physically violent. We gotta be psychological. Here's what we're gonna do. What? We're gonna go to the zoo and we're gonna train oh. all the animals to ignore him. So he goes to the zoo and he's like, oh. hey, what's up, animals? And they're like... That sounds terrible! Yeah, it sounds oh, terrible, and oh, it's what you deserve! Oh, Brace no, no, breaker! Guys, I'm not gonna do any of that, and I'm not gonna physically assault him either. I'm not gonna punch him. Oh, I see what you're saying. Playing it low oh. key, keeping it on the down low. I got you. When the punching starts, let me know. Wait, away from me. I'm not gonna oh. punch him. I'm not gonna do any of that. Here, I'll show you what I'm gonna do. Trunks, oh. I forgive you. You what? How could you forgive him? He broke your PlayStation Quattro, those are awesome! You broke my Rubik's Cube! Yeah, but I mean, the thing that I broke is like tiny and small. It costs like, what, $5? Maybe tops in a terrible store with way overpriced items? No, what he broke was a PlayStation 4. You know what those cost? Do you know what those cost today? I don't. One million dollars. Now hold on. At least I don't on sale. That. That's how much it cost. That's not. He did a big bad thing. I did a little tiny bad thing, but he did a big bad thing. Now kick him. I'm not going to kick him. I'm not going to do any of that. I deserve it. No, you don't. It's true. I really do forgive you. It's okay. Well, really? Yeah, really. Like for real? For real. Oh man, thank you so much, Cameron. Thank you. Sure thing. Ah, oh, this is unbelievable, unprecedented. How can you forgive him and forgive me and the same thing and my thing is so small and his thing is so big that he did? Watson, you shouldn't be trying to compare yourself to Trunks. You both messed up. This is actually what we're talking about today. Simon from our Bible story looked at the sinful woman a lot like you're looking at the situation right now. You see, he tried to compare himself to her and say that he was less separated from God than she was. Because in his mind, what she did was way worse. But when we start to look at things how Jesus looks at them, we realize that it's not a matter of being better or worse than someone, but understanding that no matter how good or bad we think we are, we were all just as separated from God. So you see, Watson. Watson? Watson? What is this? Had to meet Trunks at the zoo. Bye. Watson went to the zoo. Pastor Cameron talked about how we shouldn't look down on someone just because they have sin in their life. Sin is what separates us from God, and whether we are currently separated or not, at some point we were all separated from God. And only Jesus can take away that separation. And that's exactly what He did for us when He went to the cross for us. He made a way for us to never have to be separated from God again. And when we really understand how big of a deal that is, that Jesus did that not just for us, but absolutely everyone, 
It's impossible to look down on someone just because they have sin in their life. When Jesus looks at that person, he sees someone who is separated from him, and he looks at them with love and compassion, and he wants nothing more than for them to accept what he did for them so that they can be a part of God's family too. So that's it for this week. Remember, every day we are who Jesus says we are. Thank you so much for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Wait, don't go yet. We have to learn our Bible verse. I'll say it first. Matthew 1, 23. They will call him, that's Jesus, Emmanuel, which means God is with us. <laughs> now I'll say little parts and you can repeat them after me. You ready? Okay. Matthew 1, 23. They will call him, that's Jesus, Emmanuel which means God is with us. <laughs> Fantastic job, everyone. That verse reminds us that God is with us when we trust in and follow Jesus. Jesus is for everyone. I had such a great time having church with you. Now, I'm gonna leave you with some questions to talk about with your family. When they pop up on the screen, just pause the video and have a little chat. We'll see you later.